Okay, people out there in YouTube land, this is my follow-up video, continuation on explaining how I became a medical scientist and the conditions. This, will, this video will tell you about the conditions that existed at the time um, in the mid-90s when I was making that transition and how I overcame some of those difficulties. So it was about the mid-90s and I decided that I didn't want to do um, climate research anymore or nuclear structure research anymore. Climate research because back then they were talking about global warming but nobody was paying attention, nobody cared. And so I didn't want to be in a field where nobody was paying attention to you. And so I, I switched to nuclear structure research, but then found that it was being used for military spending. I didn't want to be in the business of making war. So I got out of that and decided I wanted to be in medical research. The problem was that the field of medicine was very separate and distinct and also very territorial. And you couldn't just move from physics to medicine. So I had to find an in, a way to get in. I remember going to look for a professor in uh, medical physics, but his secretary refused to let me see him. And I would go again and again and explain to her that I just want an appointment to see um, Dr. Reit, uh, Reit, Reinish, I think his name was. And she just refused to let me see him. And so eventually what I did is I made my way over to some of the physicists in the radiology department who were working on MRI. Now remember I have a background in nuclear physics and I picked up a very interesting um, experiment in nuclear magnetic resonance and wanted to 